Personally, the corner betting option is my favorite. Although no football betting market is 100% guaranteed, I feel like this is the only betting option where I have more control over my bet, as it's very practical, simply because of the strategy that I use. This strategy makes me more money most times than the other options. And in this video I will be sharing with you two important corner betting strategies that will rapidly skyrocket your chances of winning and regularly making money from corners over and under options. The first strategy is the contribution strategy. To know which specific corner betting option you should pick for sure, you have to know how much two of the teams are going to contribute to it. For example, in a match between Man City and Wolves, where Man City is clearly the stronger team, Wolves will sit back in front of goal, defending, while Man City will be trying their best to find goals through clear chances. In this type of game, the total number of corner is most likely to be less than 7, because Wolves won't contribute much to the corner at all, and Man City won't cross the ball or take too many risky shots, which will result in low corners. Since crossing the ball, the numbers of shots, blocks, and deflections determine the total number of corners. But in another match between Man City and Tottenham, Man City is still the stronger team, but both teams are closer in terms of strength. Tottenham is capable of challenging Man City back, in terms of number of shots, and Man City will also be able to take more shots against Tottenham than against the defensive teams that sits back against them, which will most likely result into more than seven corners. The contribution strategy, in short, is, if the much stronger team can have much shots on goals against a much weaker and defensive opponent, then you should go for the under-corner option, but if the both teams are close in terms of strength and the ability to have shots on target against each other, the chance of more than seven corners is high. In practical, to know how each team will contribute to the number of corners in your selected game, you need to use your live score app to check the numbers of shots on target and off target, and maybe the number of blocked shots in both teams last three to five games. If you want to have the direct stats and info to know which team is going to contribute through number of shots attempted, check the Who Scored website on Google to know the number of shots taken and shots on target of all teams. The second strategy is the style of play of both teams. The chances of under or over corner greatly depends on this. If you try the contribution strategy for a match and still nothing makes sense, you need to switch to the attacking versus defensive formula. For instance, if you want to bet on a match between Sassuolo and Atlanta, the right option for you should be an over 7.5 or higher because both teams are attacking teams and they try shots from risky positions and from outside the box, which leads to more shot blocks and deflections. Even if these two attacking teams fail to score many goals in this match, they will deliver in terms of corner. And in another match like Chelsea vs Brentford, Chelsea is always known to have low shots on target, and Brentford too doesn't score many goals. Both teams can be categorized under moderate scoring or defensive clubs and this match is more likely to produce low corners. This strategy often depends on both teams unlike the contribution method, because Chelsea despite not being an attacking team can still produce a high corner against an attacking team like West Ham. The formula I use for this is basically, attacking versus attacking teams equals potential over corner, defensive versus defensive equals potential under corner, and defensive versus attacking equals high corner. Although anything is still possible in a defensive versus attacking teams match. I made a video where I grouped top, clubs in terms of attacking and defensive or moderate scoring teams. And a useful website that can also help you with this info is Who Scored. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this video helpful and click on the notification bell to be the first to know when we post a new video.